All right, thanks, Brian. And extreme temperatures out there can be dangerous for our first responders. Firefighters say it can be tough to beat the heat while also battling fires. Two News reporter Allison Gunn shares what firefighters say they do to stay safe when it's this hot outside. First responders can't stop doing their jobs even during a heat wave, but they do make some tweaks to make it a little more manageable. With the field temperature of 102 degrees a day, with all their gear on, it's basically a, like a snowsuit. Dayton fire crews feeling the heat early Wednesday morning. Firefighters had to take extra precautions to put out a fire at a home on Vernon Drive. The rotating crews through uh, rehab to get cooled off and maintain their hydration levels. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure we can help our crews out to stay safe in the heat. Fire Marshal for the Vandalia Division of Fire, Scott Jacobs, says preparation for this heat wave began last week. Drink plenty of water and ensure that when we're working, knowing these temperatures are coming up, our crews are already hydrated. Each of the fire trucks and ambulances are stocked with ice cold water to go out on every call. Crew members are also encouraged to stay inside, conserve their energy, and scale back their typical uniform. We give them the option for shorts or t-shirts. But when that emergency call comes in, firefighters still have to put on around 100 pounds of turnout gear. On scene, they are closely monitored for any sign of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. When we get into these adverse conditions, it, it obviously heightens some of the physical exertion that's going on. We obviously want to take more opportunity to make sure that our guys are okay. Firefighters say that you can help them by taking care of yourself. Stay hydrated, don't do hard work outside during the hottest part of the day, and also don't burn outdoors. These things prevent you from having to make an emergency call where fire crews would have to respond. In Vandalia, Elsa Gens, 2 News.